Good morning uh, to you all. Dr. Maria Teresa Costa, director of the chair of on energy sustainability of the University of Barcelona. Once again, we meet at the Science Park of the University of Barcelona to provide from the academic world, from universities, answers to the challenges uh, we must face in the energy sector. We only need to read newspaper, uh, newspaper or watch the TV news to realize that everyday energy is a leading topic in the media. The price of petrol and its fluctuations, fracking, the changes in Spanish electricity rates, and so on. The sector, the key to economic growth, faces some great challenges to revolve around the need to face climate change, to increase the efficiency of process, security, regulations, market fluctuations, and to promote innovation. Thus, research and development are key aspects to meet these challenges. What about universities? What role do they play? Universities are the main research agent in our country. Therefore, we consider that research resources can and should be used to introduce improvements in the sector and the companies that make it up. The third mission of the university, innovation and the transfer of knowledge, is also an added value of the economic and social contribution of the university. The UB, the University of Barcelona, is committed to energy sustainability and effectiveness as the objective laid down for the chair in the energy sustainability, led by Dr. Maite Costa. Demonstrate this platform is a crucial tool to create a scientific field of study on energy and environmental sustainability, which is able to achieve international recognition and shares excellence. During the last few years, we have come familiar with both these uh, subjects and the concepts associated with them, such as environmental responsibility or renewable uh, energies. So Latin concern about earth sustainability can clearly be observed and must be addressed. The development of the energy markets, the, the variability of conditions for the promotion of renewables, the security of supply, and so on, are subjects that are regulate, regularly to be found in the agenda of European policies. They are also fields represented in this symposium. I hope this meet this meeting succeeds in outlining the common lines in action in such a strategic sector as energy. Finally, I would like to congratulate the organizers and all those that have made this symposium possible. This symposium once again possible for the final outcome. And do not only I hope that you find the academic sessions profitable, but that you also enjoy your time in our beautiful city. Thank you very much. No, no, no. 
Honorable Rector of the University of Barcelona, just a few improvised words with the will to convite the Professor Parellada, trustee of FUNSEAM and director of IEB, would have said. Professor Parellada has asked me to excuse his absence for reasons beyond his control. Rector, on behalf of the board of FUNSEAM and all of us at the Chair of Energy Sustainability, I want to thank you for being here with us to inaugurate the third International Academic Symposium. In this brief intervention, I want to give some comments on the share FUNSEAM and IB. The share was created in May 2012 as part of an agreement between the University of Barcelona and FUNSEAM an institution created and sponsored by the biggest energy companies, Repsol, Endesa, ACS, Enagas, CLH, Gas Natural, CEPSA, and EDP. To become a leading, a leading reference center and opinion setter in the energy sector, FUNSEM's activities are related to, this area, to these areas, of energy and environmental and sustain sustainability. The chair aims to become a center for research and analysis, bringing new ideas to the energy academic debate and international, at international level. The effort of a tiny group of researchers has managed to develop in just two and a half years several research projects which have resulted in publications in journals indexed in the journal citation report, numerous working papers, participation in international conferences, 18 visiting professors, and PhD, currently doing a research fellow at Warren University. And today, we celebrate the third symposium. Undoubtedly, the culture and of hard work and the rigor of scientific research is thanks to the IEB model of research excellence, of which the chair in energy sustainability forms part. The IEB leads the way in forging partnerships between the university, the public sector, and business. Founded in 2001, in 2008, the Institute receive a major boost through the active support of Avertis, a plus Gas Natural, La Caixa, Barcelona City Hall, and Provincial Council. Its research excellence and international vocation makes the center a recognized point of reference in its fields. The institute is home to more than 60 professors and PhD students and the research is published in a specialist academic journals of international renown in several fields. The conception of this symposium responds to the same criteria, the support of the University of Barcelona and our rector, Professor Ramirez, and our companies has made this possible. Thank you very much, Rector. Thank you very much, Tom. <laughs> Good morning again. Let me it's done a warm welcome to all of you, to our wonderful city, at least for us it's a wonderful city. I hope that after today's hard work, you will find the time to enjoy it, perhaps. <laughs> Thank you for being here in our first symposium. As in previous years, we have brought together top researchers on the subject. We are privileged to have top class speakers who are all contributors to the benchmark literature. 
as before, the selection of speakers was made from the impact their contributions have had. We have also elected chairs who are prestigious experts in energy economics. In this third edition, we address the issue of energy markets and sustainability. Our first target is to analyze and discuss the changes that are occurring in the electricity market. Because of the incorporation of renewable energies, energy, sorry, its effects on prices, the new role of demand and the sensitivity of electricity system operational costs to supply and demand deviation. Gas market in turn, are facing a profound transformation. Gas hubs are being implemented in all European countries and with them, new competitive conditions. Hopefully, the spot and future gas markets will enhance the number of agents, price transparency and flexibility by reducing the weight of long-term contracts. Certainly, the European situation is still far from that of states. The proper working of both markets is a sine qua non of the internal energy market. Despite the increased complexity involving electricity markets, last May, European day ahead markets were successfully, successfully coupled. As a result from Portugal to Finland, markets operate under a common day ahead power price. These coupling raises new challenges such as the design of actions on interconnections and the need for sufficient capacity for effective competition in addition to strengthening security of supply. <coughs> Networks, capacity and mechanisms of interconnections in electricity and gas are our second target in this symposium. It is a particularly relevant issue for Spain and Portugal due to the limited capacity of the interconnection with France. Thus, security of supply, the cornerstone of energy policy, must go hand in hand with the objective of competition to ensure affordability and remain consistent with the goal of sustainability. The challenge of climate change mitigation makes regulation more complex and requires mechanisms to be put in place which don't introduce risk or imbalance in reaching, do, in reaching those objectives. Without regulation, none one of these goals is achievable. The complexity of the changes and challenges has great policy implications. How should we design the functioning of markets and monitor competition, ensure adequate capacity, access and affordability to guarantee sustainability? This point is our third target. The work program of this symposium address these issues. At the first table, Veronica Grimm, Joan Batalla, and Michael Mulder analyze how the changes to which a refer affect electricity prices, balancing markets, cost of deviations, transmission line capacity expansion, investment in capacity markets, and the trade and competition of natural gas. In the second table, Francisca Holt, 
Thomas, Thomas Griff and Juan Rosellón analyze the importance of networks and interconnections in the security of supply and affordability. The most efficient mechanisms for the design and construction of networks and the implementation of an optimal system of prices and regulation of transmission grids and the large scale integration of renewables. The third table deals with policies for sustainability. Elisa Trujillo, Valeria Di Cosmo, Patricia Pereira da Silva address the policy implications of accommodating affordability and sustainability goals and what new energy policy mechanisms must be implemented to meet the challenge of, cli of climate change mitigation. Chair discussant, Ronald Wisman, Alessandro Costa, and Paulina Beato will pose the first questions, order the debates, and give us some brief conclusions. Our day begins with one of the grids of energy economics. Let me introduce Professor David Newbery. David Newbery is the research director of the Cambridge Electricity Police Research Group, a Maritus Professor of Applied Economics at the University of Cambridge, and Research Fellow in the Control and Power Research Group at Imperial College London. He's a Fellow of the British Academy and the, of, the economic, of the Econometric Society. He was, in 2013, President of the International Association for Energy Economics. Educated at Cambridge with degree in mathematics and economics, he has managed research projects on utility privatization